since we have completed most of the theoretical part in javascript it time to start with the project so let's start with the very simple project so this is my terminal and uh, so let me make a directory here which is known as converter so you can do this uh, manually by creating a folder known as converter also i just like it to do it with terminal better so converter then these are all unix command touch i am creating three files inside it index.html main and style.css then code so this is the shortcut for vs code it will open my vs code here so yeah it will be opened let me yeah so it is let me open this index.html then yeah so i am preparing the skeleton so just uh, i had pressed that uh, not and then tap and it give me it had given me the skeleton so then after this converter let me write it like converter here i don't want okay yeah now it is okay so i don't want this so after that let me include the css which we have a styles.css link uh, css but it is not a style it is styles.css and uh, then after that uh, let me have the js also here after this after the body tag script yeah it is main dot js okay main dot js oh. let me have it here before the body tag ends okay so generally we put it here we can put it uh, here also uh, but then it will block everything so it's better where the body tag ends to put it there so after that what we are going to do we are going to use uh, bootstrap also in this project so let me get the bootstrap for this project so that we can concentrate on the javascript mode not on the styling so i have included bootstrap also here and then after that uh, let me have some basic uh, html more before i start it with the uh, live server dev dot container again i am using the shortcut for emit h1 dot display for dot text center so both of these are bootstrap classes and this will be converter yeah let me save it and now i will open it with the live server which i have so i will click here and it will open in safari but i don't want it in safari i want it in my web browser so i have opened it here and see it converter is getting short so next it is time for us to uh, first complete it before moving to the javascript so let me so this converter app so what it does it will convert uh, simple some things like weight to pound and measurement will also be there and temperature will also be there we are going to have three things so after that uh, this div is div container h1 is there let me have a form don't want the action since this is only a only a javascript tutorial and not a backend tutorial then h4 dot display 5 dot text left dot margin bottom is 3 so these are all bootstrap so like this and then so i let me save it see since i am having this live server whenever i save it gets updated just like react 
so this type server extension you can get it from the marketplace so let's see i have this this live server it is there so it's very it's a very good extension which most of the people uses so like this for um, uh, html css and javascript project it's a very good extension so after that uh, wait so let me have a div dot form group and inside this in hash kgs input dot form control so form control is a bootstrap class again then form control hash lg so we are creating an input box input type text yeah I, now i don't want it text id is okay in kgs input form control form control and i don't want it as text i want it as number because we are going to enter the kilogram in a number so we don't want to get a string and then again convert it so it's better to have it in number and let's have a some placeholder placeholder equal to enter kilograms we save it yeah we have this now and uh, so if you give it number you get you get this nice button also so that is a good thing i can do it like this okay that will be there so the next thing which i am going to have after uh, this uh, in fact after this form i will have a div inside which we are going to show the changed thing so we have we enter the kilogram enter the weight in kilogram and get get it back in form so div dot card dot card primary dot mb2 yeah so like this div dot card that dash block yeah then uh, h4 pounds div hash hash up so this will be lbs output so just a div so this l this lbs output id and this kgs input id they are very important and we should uh, because we are going to use it so let me do it and we are getting this and now it's time to add up our main.js the logic so logic is very simple very simple for this so we'll have document dot get element by id we are getting the element by id which is this let me show again this kgs input so this kgs input so after getting so we are we will be doing this in this same line only so add event list now we are going to add an event list at that time and then this input so this input means whenever we input something here so we are able to get this input because everything we have wrapped in a form okay so input is there then after that e because it's a form we'll get this e and then let kgs equal to e dot target dot value so we are getting in the e dot target whatever we enter here we will get it here so so dot log let me show kgs let me save it inspect want so big I want only console let okay so whatever I enter I will get it here so now let me remove it 
and now it is very simple we just have to use a mathematical formula document dot get element by id and now this lbs output let me copy it this lbs output and tracing it here dot in a html we are going to change which will be equal to kgs which we have got here into 2.205 so okay let me do one thing make it a bit larger okay so more thing can we come in this so 2.205 this is the formula actually so let me it and then let me do so it will do it correctly so our most of the logic is completed so the next two logic which we are going to do will be the same logic so i will uh, so let me come here so the next thing which i am going to do is this form is sorted here and this div is in here okay so let me do one thing and the next thing which i'm going to do so will be for measurement so let me come here let me do like this and then instead of weight i will be having measurement measurement and then everything is okay 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 except I want this ID to be different so I want it to be feet input and placeholder will be enter feet and then it's okay this is okay and then this is centimeter centimeters and this is CMS out yeah so it is coming i don't like it to want it to have the same color so let me have other this is all uh, this is all bootstrap so this card success so yeah the color is different then let me go to the main now and we just have to again copy it not much thing many things are changing the feed input is there I'm coming here so this will be the feed input let let change the variable to be feed and then this will be CMS output CMS output and the formula is we have to so you can get it from Google so the formula is we have to multiply it by 30.48 so let me do that and let, let me enter a feet which is 152.28 centimeter okay so it is working fine so the next thing which we are going to do is for temperature so again we have to follow the same song and dance and everything will be the same see this tip it is coming till here let me copy it but a temperature the formula will be a bit complicated but again who cares because we're just getting it from google we can just get it from google so then it will be temperature temperature then this one will be celsius input enter cell cs mm, again i i don't want the same thing to be here so danger this will not be said this will be this will be f a h r e n parent parent height h e h i t i think h i t is the correct aspect okay whatever parent height 
and then this will be Farren output. Let it be like this Farren output. Let me save it. Yeah. So then let me come here. Let me copy it again. And then this time I'm going to have this Celsius input. So this Celsius input, okay, Celsius, and then this will be Farron output. Yeah. So one thing. Let me show you to you send CS to parent it formula A. Okay, it is uh, FAH. Oh, the spelling is also wrong actually. So let me fix it uh, this is f a h r e n h e i t and not h i t okay so let me save it yeah it is okay and the formula is c the uh, the formula is whatever we have to multiply it by 9 divided by 5 plus 32 so instead of that what uh, we can do see this 9 divided by 5 we can do it is it comes as 1.8 then we can plus it by 32 so that that's what I am going to do so yes this is there so into 1.8 and then plus of 30 let me save it and then if I go here and make it 100 it will be 212 let me complete it 65 and create 5 so everything is correct and this completes our project but there is one thing which I think it is not right see this is quite uh, uh, dark over dark so this is not recommended so this background is dark this text is also dark it's very hard to read so let us do a quickly very small change before we can say that it is complete let me go to styles.css let me have this card block and just the color white and it is white so actually this completes our small javascript project see you soon in more javascript project